Failing at something does not mean you are a failure. Bruce Barrett was my tennis instructor. Bruce told me he had hit an estimated 7,000 tennis balls trying to perfect just one serve. How many of those serves were failures? Well, to the extent that every bad serve helped him find the good one, none ultimately was a failure. There was a young man who lost his job and the very same year was defeated when he ran for the state legislature. A year later, his business failed. He finally did win an election, but the following year, the woman he loved died. The year after that, he had a nervous breakdown and then suffered two more political defeats before finally winning a seat in Congress. But his bid for renomination was unsuccessful. And then he was defeated when he ran for the U.S. Senate. This same man later tried to get himself nominated as vice president. He failed. He made another run for the Senate. He lost. But here's the interesting part of this story. It is not for all those defeats and setbacks and failures that we remember this man. Because eventually, despite all those failures, Abraham Lincoln scored a success. Because he never stopped trying, Lincoln must have understood that experiencing a failure is not the same as being a failure. Did your job not work out? That doesn't mean you were a failure. Did your marriage fall apart? That doesn't mean you are a failure. Deficiencies and defeats should be seen as stepping stones, not stumbling blocks. Everybody feels the pain of failures. The wise are able to learn from them and move on.